In this video, I'll show you how to make a two-part styrofoam percher style hat block. A percher hat sits at the front of the forehead and is held onto the head with a headband. In another video, I'll show you how to use the hat blocks we make today. You will need a 6 or 8 inch styrofoam ball. Notice the cells. This is not a floral type styrofoam ball. Make sure that it has a ridge on it that separates the two hemispheres. You will also need a 2 inch styrofoam ball. You'll need a basic kitchen knife. This one is from the dollar store. You'll need a permanent marker to mark the styrofoam, a measuring tape, You'll need regular weight aluminum foil, and you'll also need cling wrap. Start by separating the two hemispheres. Gently cut into the styrofoam about a quarter inch deep. Go all the way around following the ridge of the styrofoam. You need to make shallow cuts initially. You can't cut through the whole thing in one cut. Slowly go around being careful not to cut yourself, and make a shallow cut around the ridge. As you get back to the beginning, you can start to go deeper into the cut. Again, keep it consistent all the way around. Don't worry if little chunks come off on the edge. Keep going around and around on the hemisphere line, making each cut a little deeper as you pass. Eventually, you'll break through to the center and have two halves. Dust off any crumbs that are on the inside of the hemispheres. From the cut line, you're going to measure up a specific distance. You can make the distance anywhere from 1 to about 3 inches, depending on the size of the ball. The smaller you want the hat block to be, the longer you'll measure up from the cut edge. For me, I'm going to measure two inches. With your marker, measure around the cut line and make marks forming a circle. If you start with a much larger styrofoam ball, you can make these any size that you need to. For the six to eight inch styrofoam ball, I would stick to about two to three inches up from the edge. I'm just going to fill in some spaces to make the line more visible. Repeat this step on the other half of the styrofoam ball. It needs to be the exact same measurement. With your knife, following the line you just drew, cut in about a quarter of an inch deep. Do not go any further than that. Make this quarter inch cut all the way around exactly on the line as you've drawn it. Don't worry if little bitty chunks of styrofoam come out. When you get back to the beginning, clean off any little chunks of styrofoam that are on the cut line. You should have a line cut exactly on the line you drew. A quarter inch down from the cut, you're going to start cutting up into the cut you just made. What this does is form a triangular slice that we can then carve out and turn into a tie line. When you cut a little bit into it, you can pull out a chunk, and it basically forms the tie line as it goes around and you cut. Just keep cutting up at an angle towards the first cut you made. If you find that the little cut wedge is not coming out cleanly, you can cut back down the opposite angle from the original cut line. Go all the way around, making an angled cut up to the first cut line and pulling out the chunks that you have just cut. You can see the tie line starting to form. You need to do this step slowly. Be sure you don't cut yourself with the knife. Take your time and get it correct.
Once you're done, you should have a tie line cut around the styrofoam ball. This is the outer part of our percher block. You are going to repeat these steps for the other part of the block. Make a quarter inch deep cut around the drawn line. A quarter inch down from that, cut up into the original cut line. Then clean up any small styrofoam bits that were cut out. On the one hemisphere that has the indentation used in producing the styrofoam ball, mark the center of the circle. Then you're going to measure down one and a half inches from this point all the way around in a circle. This is the amount that I find works the best for the indentation against the forehead. You can experiment with the measurement here, but don't get too big or it won't fit on the forehead properly. I'm just filling in some lines to make the circle more complete. With the knife, cut into the styrofoam at an angle towards the center. It doesn't have to be any particular angle, you're just cutting towards the center and you want to carve out the top much like a Halloween jack-o'-lantern. Keep moving around the block and eventually you'll pop out the center. This is the indentation we need to fit against the forehead. If you have any funny ridges on this indentation, carve them out now. Drape the aluminum foil over the block and smooth down a little bit on top. Take the back of the knife and press it into the tie line. Keep moving the block around and keep pressing the aluminum foil into the tie line. This will set it into the tie line. With a blocking tie, press it into the tie line and cinch it up. This helps further push the aluminum foil into the tie line of the block. Carefully spin the blocking tie around to really get the aluminum foil into the groove. Smooth out the aluminum foil on the block. Conform the aluminum foil to the base of the block. You can now remove the tie line by pulling on the short end. Cut off any excess aluminum foil past the base of the block. Now cover the block with cling wrap. The block is now ready to use. Repeat this process with the other block, only now you have to worry about the indentation. Press into the center and smooth out from the center. Use the back of the knife to press in the aluminum foil while you press down in the center of the indentation. Then use the blocking tie to cinch it in further. Continue smoothing the aluminum foil along the edge of the block. Trim off any excess foil past the block. Cover the block with cling wrap. The block is now ready to use. Wrap the 2-inch foam ball in aluminum foil and smooth it out as well as you can. Wrap the ball in cling wrap. We use the ball as an indentation maker in the blocking material as we block. This helps shape the material onto the block. Check the description for a link on how to make a tie line. Cover the block with foundation material. I'm not using any here just for the demo. Then insert the blocking tie into the groove and pull tightly. 
What this does is it allows the blocking material, whatever you're using, buckram or cinema, to conform to the shape as the tie line is pulled in and cinched. You can see here that one half of the block makes a smooth dome and the other half of the block makes an indentation that fits against the forehead. If we didn't have this indentation, it wouldn't work against the forehead. It would be way too sharp and it wouldn't sit correctly. When the pieces are sewn together, they make a beautiful shape against the forehead. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, ask in the comment section and look forward to more millinery and design videos in the near future.